Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at track changes. On the screen, I have a document with track changes activated and you can see lots of changes selected and highlighted. So to do it, you select the review tab and you click on track changes. And then what you see depends on what settings you've got. So in this one, I've got everything ticked so you can see almost everything, but I'll just quickly go through the different options so you can see it. At the top there, you've got all markup. First one says simple markup, so it's just showing a few things. And then all markup, so it's showing all changes to this document. Shows comments as well at the bottom, you can see two comments. And then you've got underneath that, no markup at all. However, this is quite a dangerous one because if you do email this document and somebody decides to click on all markup, they will see all your changes. So that is not the final solution. You still have to follow the process through to make sure everything is either accepted or rejected from these two buttons, which I'll go through in a second. So that's just to hide things. And there's the original option, which just shows you the original document. So I'm going to put that back on all markup so you can see everything. And then underneath that, you've got show markup. And I've got all these ticks. I'll just take them off one at a time so you can see what what happens. So now I've, everything seems to have disappeared because I've taken some of these options on. So I'll put them back on so you get the idea how you can have things displayed. So sometimes there's a bit too much information down this right hand side and it's a bit off putting for people. So you do want to take some of these off. Now how it's displayed, I've got this show revisions in balloons. If I tick, tick the next one, this is um, what people would be familiar of in older versions of Word. This is how it used to be before things popped up on the right hand side there. You see things are underlined or red and strike through. If I just delete something, you can see how it works. So I've deleted that. I pressed delete, but it didn't actually delete it. It just changed it to red and put a line through it. Now, if I insert some text there, I'll just put my name. You can see what it's doing. It's just underlining it, but not deleting the original. That's how it's doing the track changes. And if I delete some things, press delete, it just did the underline again. And if I change a format, so I'll make that bold. And you can see it's gone bold. If I just do that bold and italic and underline. Now you can see it's uh, it's actually changed there, but it's not flagging it up anyway. But if I go back up to the top and select a different option, so go back to balloons and show revisions in balloons, you do get all those formatting things that I just did showing up. Formatted, formatted, and whatever you do, you get it there. Delete that one. So I'm, make, I'm making a mess of this document. You can see it's coming down there, but it is quite difficult to see. So I think the way to use this is to put things on and off and make sure you're, you're okay with it. If I take, take this bottom option, now you've got everything in line, but you're seeing comments and formatting options in the pane down the right hand side. I'll put that back to the top one so it shows everything. And then the other option in there was specific people. You can take individuals off. So I've edited this document twice in two different logins. So that's why my name's down twice, but normally there would be other people there and you can do tip people on and off however you want. So I'll put those back on. Now in uh, this box here, tracking, you've got a little arrow. If I click on that, it comes into tracking options. So this is basically just reflecting the ticks that you've selected on these options at the top, but you've got some other features in here. So advanced options, if you go in there, this is what is dictating the colors and the style of the changes. You can change these if you want to. You can change the user as well if you want to. Um, not in this box, but in the other box that I just showed you. But this is all about setting the color schemes if you don't want to leave it as the default. If I click OK to that, change user, username is that one. 
but basically that's the login user so when everybody logs in whatever their login is they will appear down this right hand side so you don't really need to change that unless you are not the right person if i go back up to the top you've got reviewing pane you can put it across the bottom or down the side it's whichever one you want whichever is easiest for you to see and if you've working on a laptop that is quite hard to see so most people tend not to have that showing now what, once you've done track changes you then have to either accept the change or reject the change so the idea would be i've made all these changes and i'll send it back to my boss and then they get this and they're looking at what i've said or done and then they are going through it and they're basically saying accept 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 reject reject accept accept reject all the way through till you, till you get to the end of the document so i'm going to accept all changes now it doesn't do anything to the comments because these are not part of track changes really these are just comments that you have to either resolve or reply to so there's a reply if i resolve that it grays it out but it's still there same with this one if i resolve that grays it out and what you have to do here is physically delete the comments um now i'll just leave those for a minute once you've gone through the whole document and accepted all changes that is when the document is a completed document not as i said before if you just change the markup to no markup that is a dangerous thing this is what you have to do complete it either accepting it or rejecting it and then the track changes will not show when you forward this on or save this um, and send it to a colleague now i've got a document open which i will put track changes on so this is a blank document no track changes so i'm on the review tab track changes on and then whatever i do now is going to be shown up so if i just do a few formatting things there the formatting option comes up like so underline and then i delete a big chunk of text and another big chunk of text so it's coming up on this left hand side on this right hand side saying um it's been deleted if you don't like the fact it does that you have to change this you have to go into whether you want the balloons like that or in line but then it does it like this which i personally prefer and then at the end of it all you send this to your colleague and then they are going to do accept and reject and then complete the process but never ever should you email this to a client with this track changes on unless you're actually wanting them to make a change and it's something you've agreed to do if i just go back to the other one review now to insert um, comments you just click where you want the comment to be so and then you've got comment there and it's picking me up and i just got that and then you type what you want to say and then people uh, reply to that comment and then you can resolve it or not and then if you want to delete a comment you're clicking on delete and you click on that one click on delete but this is not part of track changes so don't mix these two up because you could use the comments and the reply to instead of track changes so i could basically say right i'm going to send this to my colleague that's what i think about this and then i could say okay comment that's what i think about that and then one more into a comment that's what i want you to do about that and then this guy whoever gets this via email will say he'll either reply obviously it won't be my name or he'll just um, call me up and we'll discuss it over the phone but whichever way you have to resolve this now if you want to resolve that and just keep it like that it's fine because then you can see what the what the um passage of information between two people is you don't have to delete these so i'll just resolve them all and then if i take this off i don't see those but i can see them in in the document so once this is finalized so if this is a contract document and it's finalized somebody's going to have to go through once you both agreed everything and delete the comments it's possible that you want to save a, a version of this so it's got the comments in so you can see what's been said but the final version like when you're doing track changes needs the comments off so that's um, track changes and a quick 
little overview of comments. Hope that was useful for you and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.